Hey guys, it's Chris here with Call It To Wander. And today I want to talk to you about five reasons why you may not want solar panels or a solar power system for your RV. Before we get into those reasons, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel. Go check out all the other videos we have for how we remodeled our RV and all the adventures we had on the road driving from Florida to Alaska to Baja, Mexico and everywhere in between over the past three and a half years on the road. We are camped right now boondocking just outside of Zion National Park. It's absolutely beautiful. There's a ton of sun out here. It's wonderful weather. And yet with our solar panels on our roof, we have been camped for about six weeks. The last six weeks boondocking in places like this, totally 100% without solar power. There's a reason for that. But before I get into that, I will talk about the five reasons why you may not want to have solar panels for your RV. So the first reason why you may not want to invest in a solar system for your RV is if you have a big enough battery bank, you may not need it. So in our case, we've got three 140 amp, uh, 140 amp hour batteries. So we've got 420 amp hours of stored energy. That is an awful lot of energy inside a battery bank. So with a large enough battery bank, you can expect to be able to camp for a while without having to worry about topping off your batteries. This is particularly true if you're going to invest in AGM or lithium batteries, which can be discharged quite low before they have to be recharged. The second reason you may not want to invest in solar power for your RV is that you draw very little power throughout the time that you're camping. So if all you're doing is running, you're a minimalist and you're just running a couple of lights, a couple of fans from time to time, uh, or a couple of appliances if you're just charging your cell phone or other small energy use uh, appliances, then you may not need to have investment in solar power. So when you combine the first two reasons together, if you have a large battery bank and you're not drawing a lot of power off your battery, then you can go a long time when you're out camping. The less energy you use, the bigger battery bank you have, the longer that energy that's stored in those batteries will last for you out on the road. The next three reasons why you may not need solar power is really about three different ways that you can alternatively charge your batteries. So reason number three is if you plan on using shore power quite a bit, then you may not need solar power at all. And so whether you're in a campground from night to night or a campground every two or three nights, you can work out how often you need to go to a campground if that's the way that you're going to be recharging your batteries. So if you have your 120 volt uh, plug-in that you're able to top off your batteries, you may not need solar power and it may not be worth the investment for you to add solar panels, batteries, and a controller to your RV. Another alternative way of charging your batteries, and reason number four why you may not need solar power, is if you have a generator. In our case, we have a 4,000 watt generator. If we need to top off our batteries, we're able to turn it on. It's connected directly to our gas tank, and so as long as we have gas in our gas tank, we're able to run our generator. Of course, when you're boondocking or when you're camping in other areas where there's other campers around, you need to respect the, the um, policies for running a generator out of respect for other campers. Of course, having a generator also serves other purposes and is a great idea to have, whether you have an onboard generator that runs on gasoline or propane, or whether you have something like a Honda 2200 that you can connect externally. Um, you're able to then not only top off your batteries, but you can also use it if you had other 112, 120 volt devices that you needed to use, your AC or your microwave, or other 120 volt appliances that you may need to run. A third way to charge your batteries that doesn't involve solar is using your alternator while you're driving. So reason number five why you may, want to, may not want to invest the time and money into a solar system is if you are wired up so that when you're driving, the alternator is sending some current back to your house batteries so that it tops them off. What that means is that you could plan a long drive day to charge your batteries. And on days where you're not driving, of course, you'd want to know all the other reasons to conserve your power, so using less energy, using your generator, um, or needing to plug into shore power sometime in between. But on long drive days in particular, you can plan on putting a lot of power back into your batteries and storage just through your alternator itself. And of course, a sixth reason, a bonus reason, which kind of ties all of them together for why you may not need solar power, is if you do not go out camping that often, if you go out on weekends or a couple weeks out of the year and you stay in a place like this just from time to time, it's probably not worth the time and the money to invest in the solar if your RV or your trailer or your camper van is just going to be sitting in your backyard 
or your side yard most of the year. But of course, if you spend any amount of time on the road, whether full-time or almost full-time, having solar power is a great way to be 100% sustainable and self-sufficient on the road, where you will worry less about your power and more about the beautiful places where you're going and whether or not the sun is shining. Although I just covered all of these reasons why you may not want to have solar power for your RV trailer or camper van, really we do suggest because solar is so inexpensive and relatively easy to install yourself, we do suggest that you consider solar power for all of your self-sustained power needs for your camping experience. When it comes to installing solar, we are definitely Renogy fans and almost all of our components are Renogy. So there's a link in the description below for you to get a discount for when you go shop at Renogy. You can usually get fantastic deals there. Of course, there's other places to shop for solar products, um, but we do have Renogy with most of our um, solar panel setup inside of our RV, and we highly, highly recommend them. We're gonna drop a link down below that will get you 10% off when you shop directly through Renogy. Thanks for taking the time to check out this video. If you have any other ways that you can get around having solar power for your RV, please leave a comment. Any other positive comments you have about this video, leave a comment down below. Like this video. If you haven't already done so, please go subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks again for taking time to watch this video. Hopefully we'll help you get out and make most of the abundant life on the road. We'll see you out there.